There you can see uh, the seed right there. So we'll just hop over the fence and we will spread this out. Oh, the chicken just got excited. Look, they're eating. All right, chickens are eating. What's up, weirdos? We're back in Miss Survival for episode 71, and the base is really coming along. I just have that one little segment of wall that I need to add. I think maybe two. I'm not sure. Probably going to be two segments, but uh, yeah, that is almost done right there. We do have these uh, raised beds over here that we need to finish. As you can see, uh, i got some work to do with that, and then I'll plant some tomatoes in there. Uh, the tomatoes really don't give you much. Um, you know, you can eat them, but they really don't give you a whole lot, so you'd have to grow a lot of them. And this just that doesn't seem feasible, to be honest. I'm hoping in the future that we'll actually be able to uh, can those, and that'll give us maybe a little bit more. Like, there's a uh, canned tomato, I think. I think I might have some here. Yeah, see these? I, I'm hoping that in the future we can actually, like, can some tomatoes, and it'll give us this. And it'll give us a little bit of food, so... I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that'll happen. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but, uh... Oh, it looks like, uh, Rachel and Kate are stuck in the, uh, in the pond here. Maybe they're taking a bath, or maybe not. Uh, one thing that you can do when this happens... Uh, it's very easy to fix. And I know people are all the time, you know, you know mad whenever this happens. They don't know what to do. Especially, uh, first-timers. So, what you do is, you just go to another building. And this is one of the reasons I have several buildings in my base. Um, is so I can do this, where I go over here, and then I make this my active base, right? And it should bring them out, maybe, I brought Scott over here, and we'll do this, make this our active base. Let's see. Alright, it worked for Kate, but it didn't bring Rachel out. So let's try, let's try this little building over here. Make this our active base. And there we go. Everyone's safe now. Very nice. And then all I do is I just go back over here. And I make this our active base. Because this is this is where we have our main base right here. Uh, but that, that'll that help. Um, if they get stuck or maybe they're like floating in midair and you don't know why they're doing that, that is usually the best way to fix that problem. So that's what we can do with that. Uh, again, we have these uh, raised beds. we got to fill them. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to finish this wall. So let's get that done. Now the question is, do we want to put a tower here? I don't think we're going to have room for a tower. I don't think we're going to have room because we have this corn right here. So we'll just uh, we'll just continue the wall. Uh, do I want to be able to w climb up this? I think I do. I think I want to be able to climb climb up this wall right here. So we're going to go... I always hit the wrong button here. We gotta hit B and go to the little house right here, and then we're gonna go to the wall. And we're gonna do wooden wall with ladder. We're gonna do this one. Okay. And uh, let's see. Why can't I move? Am I stuck? I right, cancel. Okay, somehow I got stuck here. What's going on here? Okay, whoa, that was weird. Alright, that was very, very weird. Uh, we, we got stuck there, but we're okay. Uh, let's try this again. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. We want that to clip in just a tiny bit. Kind of like that. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and build this. Now, we do have boards on us, and we have some nails on us. I don't think we have any logs on us, but that's okay, because we got plenty of logs. I think I have some. Oh, none in there. I've got sugar on us. I gotta get rid of that sugar. Uh, I gotta get rid of that sugar. This is where I keep my sugar. In this little house over here. We got uh, our moonshine distiller right here. And this is uh, why, you, you, why you need the sugar is to make the booze. And of course the booze helps make bandages and other things. So we'll just toss that in there. Okay, I also have my reloading bench in here. Actually, or not reloading, but repair bench. So, um, hey, maybe, we, maybe we should do the tour, right? i got a workbench here. I've got uh, this wonderful thing that has no use as of right now. We've got a bed in here if somebody wants to sleep in here. We've got a generator. we got food in here. I'll show you guys. 
lots of food. Plenty of food. And space for even more food if we want it. Uh, all these barrels here, I'm going to try to fill them all up. I don't think it's going to happen by the end of the season. But uh, clean water in here. Here's our uh, water purifier. This is the archery range, as you can see. Uh, Scott's friends are out there. Uh, Scott, they're, they're Scott's friends because, uh, they, they do the same thing that Scott does, that T-pose thing. I have some arrows in there, we got some light out here. I, I put lights behind all of the, um, all of the targets, and it helps light them up. You can actually see them at night, so that's, that's a nice little, uh, nice little trick for you guys, if you guys are, uh, if you guys want to be able to practice your bow and everything at night time. Just get some lights out there, put your uh, target dummies up, and then just put the lights behind them. You can see we have lots and lots of watchtowers here around our base. It's looking pretty good. Again, we're almost done with the wall. Uh, I got lots of cars over here. Jeffy's Auto. Yeah, lots of, lots of cars. Um, right now, I'm kind of using them for storage. That's why I have them. Uh, the cars are great for that. Not great for, you know, just driving around and looting and stuff. That's why you like the trucks for that. But uh, they, the cars are great for storing like vehicle parts and stuff like that. And again, we have uh, these cars that always spawn in here. So when that happens, I just go ahead and I smash them. And they will respawn even though you have a wall here. So that that is nice. It's three metal scraps. I mean, that's that's the nice thing about that. Uh, Wee! There you go. Where are you going? There you go. All right. And we'll go ahead and hit this one up. There you go, more more scraps. Very nice. Okay, and uh, I do have some cooking pots here. This is basically for the um, the re hit render fat. Come on, render fat. There's nothing there. Oh, there's a little bit there. Fifty. All right, point five. What about you? Anything? No, nothing. That that's uh, basically for me to uh, melt down some fat and make biofuel. This is Scott's little shack right here. Uh, we do have some stuff in here, uh, like clothes and gloves, stuff like that. I think I have some boots in one of these. There you go. Um, can we destroy this? No, can't destroy that. All right. And then uh, a couple gun cases here on the picnic table. Really, no use for them. I have some storage over here. This is uh, this is all empty. I'm I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all that. Storage in here. I don't think I have anything in these. This could be more food if we wanted. Uh, again, more uh, beds in here. People want to sleep in here. There's Kate right there. Uh, this is the garden shed over here. Because I have most of my garden stuff in here. Uh, tools and seed and all that stuff and buckets. All that good stuff. There's Rachel. This is something Rachel likes to do is just lean against any kind of building and not do anything. She doesn't like to work. And, oh, she, we made her mad. Okay. Uh, better run away. Uh, the chickens are over here, as you can see. This is the uh, the chicken house, the chicken coop. And the thing with the chickens is you always have to grab them and get them to eat because uh, they will not eat on their own. So this is what I do. I just go over here. I drop them on the ground. And there should be some chicken feed there, so the chicken will go ahead and eat. We'll just grab all of them. Do that with all of them. What are, you, what are you doing, chicken? Oh, gosh, chicken spazzing out. Chicken spazzing out. Okay. All right, he's drinking. They might not have any food. Oh, wait. Do you have food? He's looking. He's looking for food. I don't know if they have food. I'm going to drop them on the ground and see. I might have to feed them again. We will see. We'll check on them a little bit later. But, uh, there you go, just drop them right there. That chicken's trying to escape. Yeah, they're not eating anything, they're drinking, though. So they may not have any food left. So we may have to do that. Uh, I do have a couple doors here. This door right here, we have another big door down there. Here's the blacksmith place. This is where I keep all the ore and, uh... Well, not all the ore, but, uh, the finished product over here. And then, of course, our wonderful main base here. This is where uh, all the magic happens. All the, all the great food and uh, tools and everything like that. You can see we've got lots of food in there. This is uh, your tree bark and 
wood and biofuel. I can throw this biofuel in here. Which one was it? This one. Just toss that in there. Okay, good. And uh, firewood. We're going to need to get some more firewood going at some point. I got all my matches in here. Looking pretty good. This is uh, dried food right here. Lots of it. And then all of these are just full of stuff. Nothing in those ones, but uh, we got lots of batteries. I don't really have any use for them. Again, rags, lots of those. Those are all rags as well. Duct tape, we got uh, sewing kits, and uh, we got arrows and stuff like that. Lots of salt. We got even more alcohol, and I ran out of space because uh, I filled the locker in there full of uh, alcohol, and I ran out of space, so I'm starting to put some in here. Again, lots more food. These do not go bad, as you can see, 100%. They're always 100%. So, uh, these are something you want to definitely store. Uh, there's the green ones and then there's the red ones. The red pops, you can just drink them because they will degrade. These ones will not. So, definitely save the green ones if you can. We've got another generator right here. This is more food in here. Yeah, lots of food. And then in here we have our trash bin. We've got tools, saws. We're going to close that door on Scott because we don't want him coming in here. And he came in anyway. Hammers, this is all stuff from the, um, like, specialty items and stuff from the new side of the map. And again, uh, sticks, lots of sticks. I got tons and tons of sticks. Uh, that is usually, uh, boards, but we don't have any left. We have to get some boards cut up. Uh, we got lots of bottles and medicine and other stuff. This is, again, all the ore. A reloading bench. I have a little bug out bag right here full of a few things in case we need it. Right, and uh, then, of course, all of our other stuff like uh, ammo and grenades and guns. We got lots of guns. You can actually uh, melt those down and uh, make components and stuff, but uh, really, I, honestly, I, I like having the guns. It's just it's just a good idea, and then here's all our ammo. I've seen uh, some people with, you know, just lockers and lockers full of ammo, which is crazy. I mean, you, you must be doing a lot of mining, but, uh, you know... It, it, I guess to each their own. I, that's a little bit too much for me. I got some nails in there. Again, our other workbench. Here's Jeffy's Baseball Bad Emporium right here. It's uh, just, just a wonderful place. I don't know where to, what to do with all those. Uh, uh, lots of axes, and we have crowbars and lockpicks. We have spears. We've got lots of knives and uh, gun parts right there. Tons and tons of scrap. And we also have lots of components still. So everything is doing just fine. There's Kate and Rachel... I think Kate was yelling at Rachel because Rachel doesn't do anything around here. Kate's usually our best worker. She's our most uh, most reliable, it seems like. Scott, um, he's a little freaky deaky, and sometimes he doesn't want to work. So uh, he, he can be an issue just like Rachel, but uh, Kate is usually pretty good. She usually uh, works without complaining. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely the best survivor to have around. Well, Scott is probably the best because he can cut down trees. But in terms of uh, getting work done... And uh, not uh, not complaining. Kate's probably the best with that. Now we are going to need some logs, and we're also going to need some more boards. I think. Yeah, we need four more. And logs. I think I made a big pile somewhere. Pretty sure. I can't remember where I put all the logs, guys. I think I had some in this locker over here. Yeah, these are these lockers over here. I. Um, they're just extra lockers, but I, I did find one that had some stuff in it. Here we go. So we'll grab that. I'm going to grab this stuff, too. I'm going to throw this in here. Components can go in there. Okay, and we also have some, some scrap right there. That can just go in there right there. That'll be fine. And uh, yeah, throw, throw you in there. Okay, good. All right. Now, boards, I do need, like, four more boards. Actually, we're going to do a couple walls, so we're going to need more than that. Let's grab... Well, we're almost out of boards. We're almost out of boards, so we're going to have to get some more cut up. That's not a problem. We can do that. Let's see, where's our truck at? I think our truck is... Down this way, isn't it? I think we left our truck down here. I'm just running all over the place. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so the truck is right here. Uh, if you're wondering where I'm located on the map, uh, as of right now, there's no map in the game. There is a compass now. Uh, but um, 
the bear spawn is right up here on top of this hill. The hotel is right up there on top of the hill. There's also the gas station right over there. There's uh, the starter bandit camp, which is right up the hill over there. Uh, the big bandit camp is up on that hill right there. And, of course, the lumber, lumber yard is uh, down this way behind that hillside that's the lumber yard down there there's a couple barns down there so that is the uh the part of the map that i'm on there we go loot all i want all of those logs because we're going to put those into the wall those chickens are really annoying are they eating are you guys eating they're not eating they don't have any food all right we should probably feed them i don't know how long it takes for the chickens to die and disappear so i don't i'm not going to take any chances we're going to grab the feed. We're going to come over here and put this down here into our hot bar. And click two. There you can see uh, the seed right there. We'll just hop over the fence and we will spread this out. Oh, the chicken just got excited. Look, they're eating. All right, chickens are eating. All right, come over here, chicken. Yeah, right, there we go. Throw that down. All right, so they're eating now. That's a good sign. All right, now I'm going to jump over the fence because I don't want to open that door in case they uh, decide to run out. No, that wouldn't be good. And we'll put the chicken feed back in here. Usually the feed lasts for a good, a good bit of time, maybe a week or so. All right, so we'll just toss that in there. All right, and let's get to work on finishing this. We are almost done with this. Almost done. I just got one more to do. Let's make sure this is working just fine. Let's climb up. Yep, we can get up here, no problem. We can jump over that. That's always fun, right? We got another locker up here. I wonder if I have anything in this. I got so many lockers, guys. Oh, we got more logs in here. Perfect. We'll grab all those, too. All right. Hop again. There we go. And we'll climb down. And let's go ahead and finish this off. One more wall. Now, this isn't going to be perfect right here because there's a slope right here. So it's not going to clip in or click in, I guess. Click in is the word I'm looking for. It won't click in, but that's fine. That's one thing I would like to see eventually is these walls be able to click in. Alright, what about that? Does that seem pretty good? It's going to have to do. Alright, I'm going to grab this. Here's another little tip. We're going to grab the locker, if it'll let us. I'm going to move it over here. Okay. And I'm going to jump up on top, and I'm going to build from up here. And this is going to allow us to not get attacked while we are working, in case we do get a mist. And we're just going to go ahead and put everything in here. And now we will have a wall that is complete. Let's go take a look at it. Again, this is not perfect, but uh, it'll have to do. It'll have to do. That should keep the infected out, hopefully. Now, our base is maybe a little bit too big. So my guess is the infected will spawn in here anyway. Uh, but, uh, you know... It makes me feel a little bit better. You know, it looks pretty good. Now, we also have to uh, finish those raised beds. So let me grab the soil sack. I've got one right here. We also need a shovel. Bring that down here. Okay. I'm going to close this up in case we get a mist. All right, do that. And uh, let's see, we need to fill that soil set. So, we're going to go to two. Uh, yeah, two. There we go. And you can just dig anywhere. And you just do this, and it will add soil to your soil sack. Okay, there we go. And then you just fill it. And you just got to do this uh, for a while. It does, it does take a while to do this. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we are a little bit 
thirsty now, so we're going to have to eat and drink. I should probably do that. Yeah, let's do that right now. Before I get too dehydrated. Uh, right now, all I have left is the dried meat, so I'm going to go ahead and eat that. I think we can eat two. Yeah, we can eat about two. I'll probably just throw this other one back on. Just toss that on there. That'll be fine. And we'll go ahead and have a nice drink. Get our thirst back up, and we're feeling a lot better. Everybody is uh, just going crazy over here. What's going on? Rachel wants to go out. Scott wants to come in. Okay. Um, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to fill this up again. Just like that. And again, now it's full. I finish this up. I think we have one more to do. Yeah, one more. And it doesn't matter where you take the soil from. It doesn't matter at all. They just stare at the ground to do that, and it'll it'll work just fine. Okay, there we go. So now we have another bed. You can put tomatoes in there. These ones need water. Do you know what? Let's do that right now. Let's get some tomato seeds, and let's get the watering can. So we'll grab these. We got nine. Okay. Here's our watering can. We'll go ahead and fill that up. So uh, three. There we go. Go down here to the water real quick and E to fill up. Be very careful that you don't hit F because you will drink the unsafe water and that'll make you sick and then you'll have to use the meds to get better. Okay, so let's go ahead and water this. The raised beds are easy to water. They don't take very long to, uh, to water. At least normally they don't. This is taking a while though. Um... What's going on here? Does that look like it's getting watered to you guys? It doesn't look like it's doing anything. I think this raised bed is bugged. Because that should have that should have easily watered right there. Now let's come down here. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this other one. Go ahead and plant. Um, click on that, two, one, two, three, and four. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. All right, we'll do five. <laughs> we'll do five. All right, and now, water this, and this should turn dark pretty quick. Um, well, that doesn't look good. I'm wondering if maybe the raised beds are bugged right now. Yeah, because they should be... That should have watered it. I think the raised beds are bugged, guys. I think they're bugged. That sucks. Well... At least we have them, right? At least we have them. Uh, we'll go ahead and make this other one, too. So uh, let's go in here. Take that out. Put this back in here, too. Go ahead and fill these soil sacks. You could make a bunch of soil sacks and just do this all in one shot. But uh, I didn't really want to waste the materials. So I just did I just did one. And then I just fill it up like that. It, it, it's the same amount of time, anyway. Actually, it's quicker because you don't have to make all those soil sacks. Okay, we'll toss you in there. Still no mist. I mean, we are like midway through the day and there's still not a mist. I've noticed that happening a lot lately. Where I log in and, uh, you know, I, I can actually do a lot of building and we don't get a mist. And it's like two days, three days sometimes without getting a mist. And then all of a sudden it shows up. Right at the end of the day. It's like clockwork. The mist can show up anytime. Um, it could be... I think it could be any time after 9 a.m. I've seen it show up. And any time before, I think, 
17 o'clock, whatever that is, 5 p.m., I think. All right, one more. I'm going to hold off on planting the seeds for this one just because I don't know if this is working or not. I don't think it is. See, I see, th this should be dark. It should be nice dark brown, almost black. And it is not. So I think there's something wrong with the race beds. But again, not a big deal because uh, we can't really get a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of food from the tomatoes anyway. So really not that big of a deal. We could harvest these ones. I'm going to leave them there because I don't know if these raised beds are uh, completely bugged or not. And it's, it's just nice looking at them like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, maybe uh, make a fridge, right? That's one, one thing that we don't have yet is a fridge. Now the question is where am I going to put it? I think we're going to have to put it in a different building. Maybe over here. We could put it in here. I think we'll put it in here. So, what we need... Uh, we should probably put some of this stuff back. I think I'd be thanking myself. So, let's put it back in here. There's Scott, taking a pee, probably. Throw this in here. Throw the seeds back in there. Okay. Uh, the soil sack can go right there. Nice. We'll bring this stuff back down into our inventory. Okay. Now, for a fridge, what do we need uh, to build that? The fridge is... Where is the fridge? Is it under power? Here it is. Fridge. So there's a small fridge, and then there's the uh, larger fridge, I guess. It's got 20 storage slots. Um, I'm assuming it takes up more power, though. Not 100% sure. This is really not that much more expensive. Let's go ahead and build the, uh, the larger fridge. We're going to need components and scrap electronic parts and a gear. So let's go ahead and grab all that. I'll throw these nails in here because we don't need them right now. The boards can go in here. We got the scrap. I think we got the scrap. We need a little bit more, maybe. I'm going to grab 20. Okay, and uh, let's grab some of that. We'll grab electronic parts in here. Don't know how many we need. I don't think we need that many. I'll just grab a stack. And then gears. We need one. So we'll grab that. Okay, good. And let's bring this stuff over here. Make sure this is closed in case we get a mist. There we go. Always a good idea. Okay, in the fridge, we will just put... Uh, right here is a pretty good spot, I think. So let's go... Uh, Got to go and build. Hit on, hit the, uh, the lightning bolt right there. And then fridge. We're going to go with the larger fridge right there. And uh, let's see. Which way is this got to go? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I think we can rotate it, so it's not a big deal. Just put it right there and build. It's going to take two hours. Did I build it right? Did I build it right? No. No. I did not. Let's spin this around. Okay. Do that. Kind of like that. And you can store your meat in here, and it will last a little bit longer. Now, I don't know about canned food. I suppose it would last longer. Maybe. Maybe not. You see, there's a... Uh, I guess this is, just, this is the only slot right here. So, you get uh, 20 slots. Whereas, um, just a regular small fridge is only 10 slots. So, pretty nice. Uh, it looks pretty good. So, we will test that out. Um, I don't need to test it out right now, though. We'll test it out at nighttime uh, whenever we uh, get our lights up and running. Uh, we do have two, uh, two generators. I might get a third. Might need a third if I'm going to light up the entire base. But uh, that is definitely on the to-do list. Uh, we definitely want to uh, see how this place looks at nighttime with all the lights turned on. And I'm probably going to put some torches up there 
in the towers because I don't think we're going to be able to get lights up there. I think the the towers are just a little bit too far away from the generators. So we'll probably just put some torches up there and it'll look good anyway. Uh, so anyway, that is uh, the plan for the future. I don't know. We'll try to get to that eventually. Um, still, still a lot to do still around the base. I want to clean up. I want to kind of move some of these lockers around and find a new home for them. I got all this stuff over here I got to put away. And, uh, I'm probably going to send Scott back to the lumber camp to cut down some more trees and have our survivors make some more boards and nails and stuff like that. And then, uh, then we'll have a nice stock full of stuff and, uh, we'll feel a little bit better about things and, uh, get prepared for the winter whenever that comes. It seems like winter never comes in this game, but eventually it will. Apparently, uh, in the future updates, there will be weather and seasons, and that'll be really cool. So, definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Share it with your friends, and subscribe to get more videos. Goodbye!